Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit, where we teach you how to lose weight without counting calories or doing exercise you hate. Today, I wanna to talk to you about tracking the calories that you burn through exercise. So I got a very good question from somebody on Instagram the other day that asked me, should they be tracking how many calories they burn through exercise? And the answer to that very quickly is no, I don't think you should. Now you can, you're a free, will human being, you can do whatever you want, but let me explain why I don't recommend it. The first reason why I don't recommend counting the amount of calories you burn through exercise is because a lot of the trackers that measure how many calories you're burning are 50% accurate. Or another way of putting it is 50% inaccurate. So if you burn 300 calories, you could have burned 300 calories or you could have burned 150 calories according to your tracker, whatever that might be. So that can be very frustrating because that's way too wide a range to feel confident in the exact amount of calories that you're burning. I also think that for a lot of people that are really trying to diligently track, this can be very uh, difficult to do and it can drive you nuts and it can be confusing and you can become neurotic about it. So instead of tracking the individual calories per workout, what I recommend doing instead is tracking how often you finish a workout. So if you plan to work out four days a week, and let's say three of those are you know, body weight workouts, and the other workout is a, you know, a walk of some kind, some kind of activity, just track that. Just track whether or not you do the body weight workouts or, or track whether or not you do the walk, and be honest with yourself. Don't beat yourself up for not getting the workout in, but just keep track of it. So maybe some weeks you only get two of the four, sometimes you get all four, just track it. And that way you understand that your calorie output, meaning the calories that you burn, is either consistent or non-consistent. And if you track it and you're honest with yourself, you know how to make the adjustment to then start burning body fat again, okay? So I do not recommend tracking the amount of calories that you burn. I do recommend calorie, uh, tracking in some form the calories that you consume and putting more of your time and more of the eggs in that basket. So I hope that answers your question. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can put them down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I, you can see more videos as they come out. I, do my best to get a, uh, some kind of video every single week to give you information. If you have a question that you want me to do a video on, feel free to either put it in the comment section down below or you can message me directly. All right, thanks for watching today's video. I will see you in a future video.